Welcome to Health and Wellness. I'm your host, Kierney Warren, and today we're speaking with Kristen Belts, who is an occupational therapist at Moss Rehab, which is part of the Einstein Healthcare Network in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today, Kristen and I will discuss stroke recovery and rehabilitation. Thank you so very much for You're taking welcome. time to speak with us today. Um, beginning, I would like to start off with what is occupational therapy? Okay. As an occupational therapist, I think of occupation in a broader sense of the term. So occupy, occupation meaning anything you would do to occupy your time. So when the term was actually invented, it was during a time where when you thought of occupation, it was thinking about activities that you did, anything that you did during the day to occupy your time. It's not necessarily how we interpret it now as occupation meaning a job. So as an occupational therapist, my training specifically is in activity analysis and looking at someone's activity pattern or what they need to do for their daily activities and being able to really look at each segment of that, breaking it down into parts and figuring out the type of treatment I would use to address the deficits they have that are preventing them from participating in those activities. So what are some of the common effects that you see with um, a stroke survivor coming into your office? Okay. Um, Stroke can, is a, and, and it affects the brain. So anything that your brain controls can be affected by a stroke. So a stroke presentation could be somebody that has um, purely cognitive deficits, difficulty with memory, problem solving, um, reasoning, that type of thing. It could be somebody that's purely a speech problem, that they are unable to communicate their needs the way they did before. It could be somebody who has purely a motoric issue where they might have weakness or paralysis on one side of the body. It could be a presentation that happens just that you're noticing weakness in a leg or just in an arm, or it can be a combination of any of those or all of those. So any individual person that comes in with a stroke, you don't necessarily know what you're going to see in that initial um, meeting with that client, but um, it could be any of those and we try to look at that from an activity basis. What are they not able to do at this point and how can I get them to return to those activities that they wanted to do? So when dealing with uh, rehabilitation, is time an important factor in the level of recovery? Time is one of the most important factors actually when you're dealing with a stroke. So getting that initial treatment when you're recognizing symptoms from a stroke is one of the highest predictive um, prognostication types of things for recovery. So the quicker you get that initial treatment for a stroke, the better your outcome is gonna be. Following that, um, within that first time period, usually they kind of talk to a three to six month time period, um, initially right after you've had a stroke. And during that time period, as your body has gotten over that initial assault, mm -hmm. um, what happens is there's initially after you have a stroke there's an area of the brain where there are certain cells that are actually de dead they're cell death um, but surrounding that area there's um cells in there that may have been in like harmed but not completely incapacitated so initially after you have a stroke um, it's important to have very intensive rehab in those first few months after a stroke because your body is actually producing um, chemicals and proteins in your brain that help to speed up that recovery and help um, drive neuroplastic change in the brain. So um, during that time period, you want skilled services where they can see those subtle changes and help to try to progress people to the next level. Um, so that, that time period where your brain is just kind of really in that mode of trying to reorganize is very crucial to having therapy. And which is why that time period for inpatient rehab is so intense. You have therapy five to seven days a week, three or more hours a day. Um, initially, when I had first started working, um, it was thought that the brain was kind of set and what you had after you had a stroke was kind of what you were gonna kind of stuck with and you just have to learn to adapt to those deficits. What the research is showing now is that your brain can continue to heal years past. Um, it's just the difference being is that first three to six months, the rate of recovery is so much quicker. Um, following that, you have potential for recovery, the rate is just a little bit slower. What are some of the devices or equipment 
um, that you use here at, at Moss to um, assist with the recovery process. Um, some of the products that I use pretty regularly are the Sable Flex, the um, Sable Mobile Arm Support, some of the things we have here in the clinic. And those devices are used to help to retrain functional reaching, functional grasp and release, and um, in context of an activity. Okay, well let's take a look at some of the products that you just spoke about and we'll give a demonstration to our viewers on how the um, products are, are, are used. Wonderful, okay. that'd be great. Talk to us about the release splint. The release splint and <laughs> the therapist who created it. Okay. Um, there's a therapist on staff here at Moss Rehab. He also works in outpatient occupational therapy. Um, was working with individuals with stroke and found that as as much as there were products out there, splinting options, different splinting options, that he wanted to find something that can be used in everyday activities. So while um, some of the devices that we talk about today, like the Sabo um, stretch, uh, a regular resting splint, um, those types of things, you're not necessarily used in context of your daily activities. Mm -hmm. Some can be used as a trainer or something that's um, something you would use for exercise, but he designed this specifically to be used all day in all of your activities. It's similar in the, the concept that a lot of people following a stroke have that flexion piece where they can bring their hands and fingers together, but don't have the release component. And this actually is called the release splint. And um, what it does is if you can get that flexion to be able to hold something and relax the tone in your hand, that piece there will help to extend your fingers. I'm sitting here with Gary, who yes. um, has attended the inpatient um, therapy at Moss, and now he's attending outpatient therapy, and he's a client um, of Kristen. Can you, Kristen, can you talk to us about um, the type of therapy and movements that um, you see and provide for, for Gary? Sure. Okay, Gary, so one of the things that um, we're talking about today is just how the different technologies that we have here at Moss are helpful in the recovery process after stroke. So I think a good way to do that would be just to kind of demonstrate the type of movement that you have without any assistance, and then we can show how the different technologies kind of help in your recovery process. So I yes. think the first thing I would like to do is I just would like to see kind of how you're able, are you able to reach your arm out straight in front of you? Uh, yes. So let's see, so you wanna lift your arm, you wanna reach, straighten your hand forward. So if you could just squeeze your hand really tight, okay? And now I want you to try and open your fingers. So what you can see there is he has a lot of that increased tightness in the fingers that make it really hard that even if we were doing any kind of functional exercise program, there's not a goal to it because he can't use his hand very effectively. Gary, how long ago did you have your stroke? About two years. Two years, okay. And you've been coming consistently yes. to stroke here at Moss? Okay. So even from the beginning, I went to Ross Rehab. Okay. So what we're gonna kind of show then, I guess, is just how some of the technologies that we're talking about could help. So um, we're gonna try the Sable Flex. And again, um, this is useful to help retrain that pattern of grasp and release. And this is called the Sable, Sable Flex. Flex. So for therapy, he comes twice a week, and then we try to emulate that even in the maintenance program. So he'll continue with the program that we do with the assistance of an aide or a family member, but he'll be able to use this, the equipment that we have here to keep continuing with his program. Since we talked about um, the further out you get from the initial incident of stroke, the recovery is a little bit slower. So he can continue to work on those exercises um, even if there's not um, insurance coverage that right. is possible for that. And is this, is this yours, Gary? This is his. Oh, yes. okay. So you're able to go home and practice like Kristen said. Yes. Okay. So with the mobile arm support, it just gives him a lot more range of motion and mobility to be able to work those muscle groups that in isolation or on his own are a little bit more difficult to do. 
So in this position, you can see he has, his hand is no longer in, like it was originally, where his fingers, the spring helps to pull his fingers back and get his hand in a more functional position. And in this way, if I was to ask him to grab something, and then you're gonna pretend we're gonna drop it in the basket over there. So if you can let it go, that spring, as he learns to control that increased tone and tightness in the flexors, the springs help to assist and give some of that release. There's a lot of wonderful um, services here at, at Moss um, that are stroke specific. That's a, an amazing, um, uh, plays an amazing role in stroke recovery. Um, how would someone um, find out more about um, Moss Rehab and the program specifically for stroke? Um, you can go to our website at um, www.mossrehab.com and there's a stroke uh, link that you can click on and you can find information about any of the programs specific to Moss and stroke recovery at that site. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'm Kiernie Warren, again, your host for Health and Wellness. Thank you for watching. For more information, definitely go to um, the, the website for Moss Rehab to learn more about stroke rehabilitation and recovery.